What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So you guys have been asking for an updated skincare routine, so here we are. I'm just rushed out the shower and I'm gonna do my morning skincare routine. I already washed my face in the shower and I use the Tula purifying facial cleanser. I use this morning and night. So after I cleanse, I'm gonna go in with my toner and that is the uh, Tula Pro Glycolic Toner. Um, I use this also morning and night. It's just a really good like exfoliating toner. It helps to get rid of like hyperpigmentation and it also doesn't strip your skin so it doesn't like dry me out or anything like that which is nice because my skin has actually been like super dry recently which I don't know why. I guess winter and age really change your skin <laughs> but I have like a pimple right here and it's really bugging me. It's that time of the month, so you know it is what it is, but I take this down my neck. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with my serum. Um, I've been using a different serum during the day. Um, I used to use the Tula Illuminating Serum, and I still love that one. I'm actually out right now, and I was supposed to get a refill, but it hasn't come in the mail yet. So usually I mixed I mix my Tula serum with this serum, um, but I'm just gonna go in with this serum today. This is the um, ASAP Skincare Super B Complex Serum. Sarah's Day uses this all the time and she always raves about it, how it makes her skin super glowy and like helps to clear everything out and I so agree with that. This just makes my skin like super radiant and glowy and I love it. And I mix that serum, I mix it with my Audacite P, A, and G serum. This is also super good for hyperpigmentation and getting rid of scarring. Um, so I do like a little squirt of that and I'm just getting it everywhere. And like a couple drops of that other serum. And I just spread it all over my face and this combo has really been helping um, clear out all of like my hyperpigmentation it doesn't break me out it doesn't make my face feel like super greasy or oily um even though the audacity serum is an oil it like sinks right into the skin and it actually i feel like it kind of makes my skin more balanced so it, like it doesn't make it super oily but it doesn't make it super dry either then it just like automatically sinks into the skin and yeah i love it okay and then i'm gonna go in with my tula 24 7 moisturizer i know i use a lot of tula products i just love it and i've been using them for like two years now and it's just like the thing that works for my skin and i, I feel like when you use a whole bunch of products from the same brand they just work together better so that's just kind of what i do and i've been using like all the products that I'm showing you besides the serums for the past two years and they just work well for my skin so if it ain't broke don't fix it right I'm gonna go into my Tula Rose Glow and get it eye balm um, they have this one and then the like original eye balm I like this one because it's more of like a pinky tint I mean I think they're both the same besides the tint um, but it's really good at like hydrating your eyes and it's really cooling I have like super huge bags right here and they never go away no matter how much sleep I get so I like to use that to depuff them and then I'm going to use my um what is this brand it's honey and bee it's just like this jade roller that I got they sent it to me uh, and I just roll it across my skin to kind of get everything to sink in and it also helps to like depuff everything it on this freaking huge zip that I have but yeah this really just helps to like depuff the skin um and I usually keep it in my fridge but it's so cold in my house right now because it's winter that honestly it just stays cold <laughs> but yeah super super good for helping out with those puffy skin days because I drank a little too much wine last night so 
it's really helping to depuff the skin. And then I use the other side and just do the under eye. And then the last step for my morning routine is I just take my Tula spot treatment, literally almost out of it. I need to get more. Actually, I think they're sending me more with my illuminating primer. And I'm just going to put, not my illuminating primer, my illuminating serum that I ordered. Just put it on this spot right here. And then any other like, little spots that I have. I have a couple right now because, like I said, it's that time of the month. Joy, oh joy. And I like this spot treatment because it like goes on clear. So I actually usually wear this like during the daytime and at nighttime and I can wear it under my makeup and all that fun stuff and like you can't see it which is super nice because it's clear. Okay, so that's my morning routine. I'm gonna go about my day and I will check back with you guys later for the nighttime routine. Okay, I'm back. It's nighttime now. It's like almost 10 o'clock. Um, I already took my contacts out, so if I squint, it's because I can't see myself in the camera. So just bear with me. Um, but in the nighttime, whether or not I'm wearing makeup, I will still um, double cleanse. So I first go in with my Tula Keeper Cleansing Oil. And... I just take about a pumpish and I just spread it all over my hands like this and I just massage it all into my skin. When I am wearing makeup, this is like the best makeup remover. It removes all eyeshadow, foundation, stubborn mascara, literally everything. It's it's great. And what's cool about this oil cleanser is that it's like a oil to milk formula. So it goes on like an oil and then when you wet your skin, it turns into like a milky cleanser. So you don't have to like wash it off with a washcloth or anything like that and it doesn't like get all oily in your eyes and stuff like that. Which is really nice and it doesn't really make your face oily or your hands oily. And then I'm going to go in with my Tula Purifying Facial Cleanser next. I just take about the dime sized of it, if you can see it. Take about a dime size and I just massage that into the skin as well. This is my absolute favorite cleanser. It's gentle enough that it doesn't irritate my skin but it also like really gets in there and gets everything nice and clean but it also doesn't like strip your skin of any of its oils or anything like that or give you like that super tight dry feeling after you wash it off which a lot of other cleansers do so really enjoy this one and it's also just great on its own just to get like all your makeup off and stuff like that. Okay, and then just like in my uh, morning routine, I am gonna go in with my Tula Pro Glycolic Toner again. Um, like I said earlier, I use this day and night. Oh, I haven't picked it this one. I have, 2020 is the year of not picking. We left picking your skin in 2019, okay? So I've been trying my hardest to not pick my skin this year. I know we're only like, the second or third week of January, but I've been really trying to make a habit of not picking my skin. And I have not touched this one all day, but it is huge and it freaking is killing me and it hurts so bad. So I'm just gonna leave it alone, hoping that by the morning it'll go down. I'm gonna go in again with my uh, ASAP Skincare Secret Beauty Complex Serum. This next product is actually a new product. Um, Honest Beauty sent me this product over about two weeks ago. It has not come out yet, but it's supposed to be launching on January 22nd. I'm pretty sure I'm posting this video after the launch date so that you guys can get your hands on it. But it is the Honest Beauty Beauty Sleep Resurfacing Serum. You can see it. Um, and it has... AHA and hyaluronic acid. Um, 
So it's supposed to be super good for like exfoliating the skin, but also leaving it super hydrated and plump. Um, I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I honestly love it. I really can like see a difference in my skin now. I just feel like I only use it at night because um, you're only supposed to use it at night. But I feel like when I use it at night, I wake up with like the most supple and like smooth skin and I feel like it's really been helping with my scarring um because I think my last period I had a lot of like a lot more um breakouts and I was definitely picking at them so I have a lot of scarring left over from that cycle and I really feel like this has been helping to get rid of all of those old scars and like the Super B Complex Serum, this also like sinks into the skin super fast. So even though it's like supposed to be moisturizing, it doesn't leave you feeling super oily or like sticky or anything like that, um, which I really like. So like it really just sinks into the skin. For my nighttime moisturizer, I was always using the Tula 24-7 moisturizer, but um, they sent this moisturizer to me a couple months ago and I've been using it every night and I honestly love it. It is the Tula Beauty Sleep moisturizer and it's the one that comes with like the little pump like this. So I just do one like little half pump. There you go. I use like that much. Um, because this moisturizer is super thick and I have noticed that if I use too much um, it can sometimes tend to break me out but if I use the right amount I wake up with like the most baby soft smooth skin and it's also supposed to be really good at um, exfoliating the skin too so it's like also supposed to be really good at you know, just like leaving the skin super clear helps get rid of hyperpigmentation and also leaves the skin super soft and moisturized. Um, so I've really been liking it. And I make sure that I slather it everywhere. Four different strains of probiotic, AHAs, vitamin C, and botanical extracts. So it says, that, a, that you'll wake up with softer, plumper, more youthfully radiated skin. And I mean, who the hell doesn't want that? So if you have not tried this yet, you should definitely check it out. Um, if you guys are interested in using any of the Tula products, you guys can always use my code. It is HolisticList15. Um, I have it linked in the description box down below if you guys want to check any of the Tula products out. They're amazing, I swear by them. I do make a small commission off of my code if you guys do use it so if you don't want to use it feel free not to but if you want to support your girl and get some money off of some awesome tool products then feel free to use it okay shameless plug done next i'm going to go in with my eye cream this is the tula multi-spectrum eye renewal serum a lot of words on that one i just take it on my ring finger take it about hmm, I take about that much, just rub it together, and apply it all under my eye, and I kind of circle around with the top of my eye like this. Just so that everything is nice and hydrated and I get rid of all these little crow's feet because I'm trying to look young forever you know and then I'm gonna go back in with my Tula spot treatment um it's the same one I used earlier this is especially great for overnight too because it just really helps to like bring down the inflammation and stuff like that and the last step is eyelash and eyebrow serum so I use the Grande Lash and the Grande Brow Serum, both by Grande Cosmetics. These both came in a set at um, Sephora. I think Sephora and Ulta sells the little mini travel set. So I got these probably like 
almost five months ago and I actually like still have a lot of product left in them and I use them every night but I've actually really been liking it I can really see a difference in like the thickness and the fullness of my lashes and my brows when I use this every night and the brow serum I wouldn't say it helps my brows like grow any faster but I do feel like they're a little bit thicker now that I've been using it all right guys that's all I have for you for today that is my morning and nighttime skincare routine I hope you guys found this helpful um, I will link all the products down for you in the description box down below. I also have all of my discount codes and everything linked down there so you guys can check that out if you guys want to go and purchase anything. Um, and yeah, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see from me next. Um, I'm always open to video ideas and i want to create more content for you guys this year like that is my number one goal i really want to push out some more content for you guys this year got a new camera it's time for me to do it all right guys i will see you guys in my next video bye